is how you set up the tail hole. The back end. Tail hole. Strap. Strap. Cable. Now wrap it around this tree. And then I hang the block on it. Now I'm putting a wrap on it because I'm on the bottom side of the road to the yarder. I'm going to pull the strap up. I have a strap, a wrap on the tree. It'll slide in and it'll slide up. If it slides up the tree, then the yarder has more leverage on it, way better chance of pulling it over. And down low on the nice fur like this, on the bottom side, it's not going anywhere. That's how you hang your strap. Now for the block. Okay, now we're at the other side of the tree and uh, got my strap eyes together. See, this is what we call a block. Nice sturdy block. It's got wings on it because we're on the low side. Not going to explain that. Okay, so I got to put this pin through this hole here. Then put this, what we call a molly, to the hole in the pin so it doesn't come out. And then uh, we'll go take a look at a road we're already hanging on. Okay, so here's a working tail hole. See, I got the bite around that one fir tree. Then I wrap that hemlock tree, it's slightly ahead of it and slightly to the right of it, looking up the hill, so that it shares the pole fairly equally. And I got the eyes on the gooseneck of the block and the lines are going through it all up the hill to the arter. We'll take a look at that in a second. So here we are just outside the tree line. You can see the lines come out all the way up to what we call a grapple yarder. Right now he's landing a turn and he's, he's putting a log on the road and there's the loader. You can see the loader swinging around there. Getting ready to grab a log there. And yeah, see, he's picking up the lines. That's the grapple you see swinging there. Let's watch him grab a log. He's got that log and the grapple. He's bringing it up to the landing. And that's what we do. And once all the logs are gone from underneath the lines that he can reach, we move the lines down to that other block I hung, and we have a fresh road with more wood. So when the yarder operator can't see the logs, he gets me to spot them. So this is what I do. Stop. All back. A little more. Good. Close. I tell him what line to slack or pick up. I tell him when to close. And then he does the rest. Okay, well this is the fir tree I hung my blog and strap on. You can't see it because this top is in the way. And I strung this smaller line called straw line through it. So just watch and learn. Go ahead in the straw line.
So the straw line pulls the haul back because it's a lot easier. So I deal with the straw line by hand. It pulls the bigger, heavier haul back through the block, through the block, and up to the yarder. I had to tell him it went through the block so he could go faster. And then uh, he does it up to the grapple, and we're logging again, and we got a fresh road.